Hi guys and welcome back to episode 3 I think it is now. So in the last episode we were waiting for this bridge to be built so we can crack on with some other things like the Lord's Manor which we'll be covering in this episode and there's a couple of other things I need to just go back over. Um, okay. So we're on minus monies for this month. But that's probably just because we haven't buy tools in left, right, and center. But that's not fine. So that we have our glorious bridge that is finished, that is built. And now we can start plotting out the very exciting point of our Lord's Manor. Now I'm just going to get these berries marked up for extraction. If I can get the right size blob. That looks alright. Yeah, I think, I think we're in. Um, we've obviously got one set of berry gatherers. They are going between two different bushes at the moment. So that's a more source of food right now where to place this so i want this to kind of be like our up market area um i'm not going to go too crazy on this lord manor build we can always come back to it later add some more stuff on and make it look crazy cool and all that type of stuff because i don't have polished stone at the moment so i've got to live within my means um just getting a nice angle so kind of things make sense a little bit so i'm lining it up with the bridge so we've got like a nice flat on bit from there grab a couple of the core bits grab a tower haven't we because let's be fair lord's man without a tower what is that and we're just going to raise that up um what else can we put on this without getting because i don't want to get bottlenecked by materials basically um, the hedges is fine. I mean, yeah, we've got okay. So you know we'll, we'll put you in it. So because we, okay, I say we because I wasted so much time building a bridge. Um, there's a the Lord's Man is one of the things I want to kind of get knocked out quite quickly. So we can start progressing with the game. It's not much of a game unless you actually play it. And. Um, yeah, I think that's that's enough. So basically, each part of the Lord's Manor can you can add a different things to like bailiffs, treasuries, um, all that type of thing. So we want to have enough components to the Lord's Manor that it can fulfil its destiny, but we also need to make sure that it can get built in a reasonable amount of time. So as you can see, look, we've got a couple of people up here but gathering berries, and it's gonna. I'm okay. All right. I thought I had more spots on forager available. So okay. Um, wood. Wood's always good. You can't complain. You've got more wood. Life's good. And as you can see, we've only got eight logs and but quite a lot of planks and loads loads of bricks. So this should theoretically get built quite quite quickly. Um, now, what I like to build around my Lord Manor is like a little village type area. Um, because the Lord's Manor does give quite high land value for essentially for free because you've got to build one anyway. So why let it go to waste? Quite frankly, let's slap down some residential area um, and get that free free housing. Now, just working out exactly where I want to put it. So I'm doing it too swamped because we need places for churches and jobs. So we're gonna pop a couple of bits in at the moment, just so places, people have got places to work and they've got a place to eat and they've got a place to drink. We're starting off with all the basics and this is what I do whenever I build like a new, what I'd call a hub, to make sure they've got food, water, employment. Um, and because you can always raise land value with decorations, so you know you kind of got to get the basics in there now we're gonna get some logistics so obviously if we we're selling food there's no point in going all the way over to the bridge um just to get them and also i want to put some fishermen on this side as well so i'm just having a little look where the little in arrows are because there's some things i love about this game there's also some things i really don't like one of the love hate relationship things i have is with the AI paths it's it's nice that it gives that really organic look but as far as I'm I know um, 
and please 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 if i'm wrong comment down below so that we can sort this out together um but you can't delete paths um which really annoys me now whether they fade over time or not i haven't actually tried to be fair but still you can't really control the paths that much unless you can do forbidden lands or you can put walls in everywhere now we'll just quickly check in on our forester because he doesn't seem to be planting any trees um Oh, I can't really quite expand yet. Um, so, yeah, okay, that's right. I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Right, let's finish off this side and then we'll worry about the forest for in just a second. Right, what am I looking for? Gathering hut. Okay, so I'm going to put two of these down there. So, obviously, quick tip if you're new, hold down shift when you click to build a building and you can build another one. Again, I'm just going to angle it at the berries to make it look a little bit more natural, a little more organic. Um, he's not planting his trees, is he? It's not just me. I've obviously missed something here because we zoned it. Because I checked the zones just a second ago. Um, they're not chopping them down faster than you can build them. Um, oh, right. If this works, oh my, ah. Oh. Right, guys, I don't know how many people have been screaming at the screen going, you need to click the button. But in my defense, you know, the white looks like it's unticked. So, yeah. Uh, so it's like on, on the colors for, like, your speed. Like, they're that color's tick. What an idiot. Okay, that is fine. <laughs> the learning has happened. Oh, do apologize, guys. Crikey. Uh, Oh dear. It's a simple mistake, right? It's a simple mistake. Um, I don't think anyone's going to buy stone off us. But you know what? I'll just put it there just in case there's something I don't know about. Because there's probably going to be loads. Um, yeah, we need bailiff office. We'll need that later on down the line. We need to do some promotings. Because I want to get fishing huts. And I'm not going to get those until we get promoting. Right. I'm going to, um, oh, okay, so they will buy polished stone of us. They won't buy raw stone. And it, do it doesn't look like anybody actually buys raw stone. I mean, that, that's fine. That I mean, that would be a bit, to be fair, that would be a bit cheap if we could just, like, mine loads of stone and then just sell it off uh, for quick, easy cash. But it's fine. We can always sell polished stone, so that's, that's not too much of a biggie. Lord's Manor is okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. I must be missing just a couple of bits. It looks pretty much done to me. I know we haven't got a chimney on there, but that's fine. So we are making moves. Look, we've now finally got a glorious forest being planted. I don't know how many foresters you need to deal with a fully like spec out lumber camp we've got two in this area so i suppose we'll see we shall see indeed um all right we're just waiting for this lord's manor is it is it built hold on nothing to report part all right, right okay so we want great hall so that enables us to promote our villages which we need to get the fishing huts treasury you can have later bailiff office is always good to have so you can send people on little missions elect people um so i'm not getting a treasury yet because even though we are hovering around the 500 coins mark you do pay gold for having those um happiness is less impact happiness is less impact well i don't need soldiers at the moment so it's going to be one of these two We'll hire Patricia. 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 I'm sure she's going to do an amazing job. She's going to be head of our village. She'll be out doing the things. Okay, I need a person for that. That's fine. And this person can sell berries. Because we don't have fish yet. And this is why we're building the little uh, warehouse here. So we can put berries and fish in there. So that people can sell. And we need to promote. So going to need comfort and service 
Okay, I'm just having a look at a couple of fields on that. So, if we promote to Surf, they're going to need Comfort and Service. If we promote to Commoner, they're going to need Goods, Food and Service. Okay. One of the things I always say for new players stuff like that, do not over promote to start with because your happiness level will drop, people will leave because you can't necessarily get done what you need to get done. So I think, was it 20 we needed? I can't remember now. Um, ah, do you know what? We'll, we'll get all the surfs done up. Now, that is quite a lot of people to promote just at, all at once. So we are going to get hit quite dramatically. To unlock some more food items, but we'll get to those later. Blacksmith is handy for tools. Uh, charcoal, iron smelter. So we can get... We can get tools being made, which is our biggest drain of money at the moment. Um, that's not something we're going to do now. So we're literally just worried about Lord's Manor getting in some extra food on the go, building up some of those supply chains a little bit more because our money is not good. Uh, I need six. Oh no, I've got eight to spend. Oh, okay. Right. I need coins because I've got zero coins. I've forgotten how to earn coins. It is fine. It is fine. Right, okay. I'm going to work out how we get coins. And I shall bring you back once some of this building's also been done. So, we'll be back in just a moment. Guys, it's happened. Um, so, you know what I was talking about? Over-promoting can cause a massive drop in your happiness. Well, this is exactly what we're dealing with right now. As we can see, we've got happiness as low as 10%. So, we are going to start losing people soon. And, yeah, I just promoted too many peoples too quickly without having everything in. So, we've got comfort and service down 25%. Comfort shortage, 20%. Service shortage, 20%. Leaving us with 10% happiness. Um, <laughs> so, we've been kind of hit with double, where it says comfort and comfort shortage, because it's not just affecting him, it's affecting lots of people. He's kind of getting hit twice with it. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit tough. So, this poor guy here, um, his comfort is nothing his service is nothing um so it's not like he's just missing a little bit of service a little bit of comfort and as you can see um this is one of the reasons why so it's going to take a while for our builders to actually get around to building the houses so that these people will actually then get their comfort back because they just don't have a house at the moment um and as you can see, we're starting to get some more houses. Ah, oh, I put the zone a little bit too close to the Lords of Manor, haven't I? Really? Right, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of those trees as well. I mean, I know we've got deforestation allowed, but still, it's it's resources. Um, ah, uh, yeah. This is one of the issues here. We may not have enough builders to go around. Um. So let's get another builder's workshop done. We'll do it over here. So again, whoever we assign to it, at least pre has some nice housing available. Um, we'll, we'll just chuck them all in. So we should have six builders now, which will help get all this sorted out as quick as physically possible. So um, yeah, that's that's a that's another real big newbie mistake that I made there which is, is fine just means we're going to hit another bottleneck or because if people leave then we're going to have to wait for those people to come back in so I mean maybe um should have just put I don't know 10 at a time promoted I don't know um but we needed 20 so I'll just put them all in it's fine, it just means that, you know, if I have to do some off-camera work, I have to do some off-camera work. It's not that much of an issue. We won't let it impact us too much. But it's good that it's happened, because then we can see how to get around it. We can work together. We can get it done. So, 
Um, population, we've got, was it 35? And I think, yeah, our service can only take 20 because it's only got a single, single compartment. The churches, for the amount of space they take up, they can't actually hold much villages, but then I suppose that's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I just want to find out where really to put it. Because I don't want to lose too much residential. I don't want to put it too close to the Lord's Manor. Because, again, this will bump up the land value. Um, so, we'll put it right on the border here. Uh, what to do to... So, we're going to put a double core in it. Because um, just 20 isn't going to, isn't going to really cut it. And... did kind of want to make a bit of a nicer looking church next time but again me being silly of course that's a bottleneck um, so we kind of just really have to I don't know just deal with what, what we can and how we can um, so yeah that that will have to do that will have to do we'll probably have a uh, few people leave in all honesty in this bit but look at the forester he's doing his job and as you can see literally just through promoting those people how many houses are being built and how much of an impact they're going to have on our local area um but the good thing is we've got food and water across the other side we'll get a transporter assigned so that we can get the berries over here and we'll pre-align that with fish as well, because we know we're going to be doing fish next. Um, oh yeah, I still need to work out how to get coins. Because um, again, I was looking at that. Um, but got distracted by the fact that we've got a bit of a happiness issue on our mind. So we just need the spender. Um, right. Okay. Uh, mandates. Is this going to give us some splendor? I think so. Okay, we'll, we'll get a mandate done. That might get some splendor. Um, eesh. Yeah, right. Okay, things aren't necessarily going the best. However, we can quite really, really easily come back from this. It's not that much of an issue. Just again, like with the bridge and the Lord's Manor, we've just hit a bit of a um, building bottleneck. Uh, but as you can see, like, literally, the village is doubled in size just by promoting. And we're just going to speed this up. So, again, this is why promoting, you've got to be a little bit tactical with it. Because you, you could end up like this. Like, we've pretty much swamped our entire starting residential zone with just promoting. So, we do have to be a little bit careful. We've got... Okay, so the guys, yeah, so that's right. Again, just double checking, we've got enough berries on the go. I'm gonna see how far we can reforest out. It's all covered there. So it looks like the forest can only cover a certain range, which is, is fair enough. But yeah, these guys are, um, are banging away. They're gonna get stuff built for us and hopefully make up for um, my, my latest mistake in, in a long line of mistakes. This episode should be called Lessons Learned, Mistakes Were Made. Right. Okay, guys. I am now going to look up how to try to get these coins and stuff. I want to do a little bit of maintenance around the village. Just make sure we've got enough people in jobs. And I'll bring you back once we've got something worthy of um, updating for you guys. And true to form, 30 seconds later, um, the learn to have... So, if we have a little look, these missions that you get are where you get those little coins from. So, uh, right, we just need to, hold on, what's going on? I've got tons of berries, so why aren't they being delivered? My life, okay, right, anyway, back to original point, while I'm clicking around like an absolute idiot, trying to work out what's going on. Um, Logs, yeah, okay, we can't click it on there. Buildings, okay, so we get the coins from doing the quests, so it also seems like the bailiff quest is going to help us as well. And normally, you'd just 
click the quest with a little tick and get that done as well. Right. I'm not going to put you guys through any more of me bodging this up. Right. I'm again we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut we're gonna save save the embarrassment from myself from just a little bit longer and we'll bring you guys back when i seriously work remember how to play this game <laughs> right more mistakes more learnings we'll get this done more learning it has happened right okay we can only deliver the quests from our stockpile we can't take it out of our sellable stock so basically it has to be in a granary rather than just in your trade so basically i have got loads of berries like completely loads of so i'm gonna stop selling them um because what keeps happening is i'm selling them out of my stockpile so the market traders can hold a certain amount of berries themselves um and we can't sell them from the market berry store. It has to be in our actual granaries. So that is the learning. <laughs> oh, my days. Right. Okay. So hopefully that is all learnings and all mistakes for this episode. Um, I, I can't wait for future learnings and future mistakes. But we shall now time warp and wait till all this disgustingness is over class is back in session we've got the berries now we should just yep there we go click the quest and it is done <laughs> the learnings have been happening um yeah cool okay so we've we've got loads done absolutely loads done uh we've got extra berries in um, make sure i've got people employed everywhere uh, we're still waiting for the church to be built um but now yeah we, we can now start focusing on the original plan which was the fisherings um we'll get the money back in but this episode's gone on for a little bit longer than what i was expecting so i'm just going to unlock what we can unlock and then next episode we'll start actually making the fishery huts. Um, okay, we'll keep Russet Turks additional things. Yeah, well, should we unlock that? I mean, we've got 10 coins, so you know, we may as well do. Okay. Um, hedge and sculpture. We're going to leave it here for today, and that just leaves with a very important job of saying thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, give it a thumbs up anyway. We do appreciate your time and taking to view the channel, and I shall see you in the next one for more, or hopefully a little bit less, of the learnings and more of the gamings. See you later, guys. Bye now.